In this video, we will show you why China starts a new 270 gigawatt coal mega project. The world is shocked. Why are they doing it? China has expressed its intention to reduce its dependence on coal and emerge as a prominent player in the renewable energy sector. However, the current state of its energy sector appears to contradict these aspirations. Exciting news! China is taking the lead in the global shift toward cleaner and more sustainable energy sources. The country has made a commitment to limit its carbon emissions by 2030 and achieve carbon neutrality by 2060. China has a commendable track record of implementing its plans and honoring its commitments as exemplified by its successful containment of the COVID-19 pandemic. China asserts its position as a front runner in the advancement of eco-friendly technologies, encompassing electric vehicles, wind energy, solar power, and environmentally conscious espionage activities. Demonstrating its commitment to sustainability, China is actively supporting international green energy initiatives through financial backing. Moreover, Chinese leader Xi Jinping announced two years prior that China aims to gradually eliminate the use of coal within the next decade, including coal-fired projects abroad. Phew. Personally, I must admit I held the misconception that China was not actively joining the movement to combat climate change. It's worth noting that this movement can be linked to a bandwagon, as it represents one of the most environmentally friendly modes of transportation. The perplexity arises from China's substantial emission of greenhouse gases, surpassing the combined emissions of all developed nations. The World Bank emphasizes the indispensability of China's successful transition to a low-carbon economy in order to achieve global climate objectives. Rest assured, China demonstrates greater reliability compared to McDonald's soft-serve ice cream. Can we recall any instances of China's failure? Fortunately, Chinese leader Xi Jinping has taken decisive actions to protect the environment. The well-being of humanity is directly impacted by biodiversity. Flourishing society necessitates a robust ecological system. China is actively striving to establish an ecological civilization. Remarkable ecological advancements have been made by China across all aspects of economic and social development. Impressive overall progress in environmental preservation. Impressive overall progress in environmental preservation. Xi is so committed that he's even promoting green energy on a cosmic scale. Are we in good hands? China achieved its 2030 carbon target ahead of schedule, leaving no doubt about its ability to accomplish the 2030 objective. On specific occasions, the skies of Beijing transformed under Xi's leadership. Similar occurrences have taken place before. The purpose of that person's mask extends beyond protecting against COVID. China coined the term airpocalypse to depict the severity of air pollution. According to the World Health Organization, air pollution claims the lives of 2 million individuals in China annually. Chinese state media attributed around 1 million COVID deaths to the US, akin to a person who abuses his wife, claiming superiority over his neighbor who mistreats his dog. China's significant reliance on coal as its primary source of fuel contributes to the country's adverse air quality. Although there have been attempts to transition away from coal, it remains a prominent energy source. Initially, China implemented a ban on coal-burning stoves in preparation for winter. However, this decision was reversed due to a shortage of natural gas, as people were experiencing discomfort from the cold temperatures. This turn of events was certainly unforeseen. In a commitment to reducing coal consumption, President Xi Jinping vowed to phase it out within a decade. However, China's current trajectory indicates a shift in the opposite direction. The nation has seemingly, the nation has seemingly joined a figurative coal-powered train following the prevailing trend. Stay tuned for more updates after the break. Xi Jinping made a commitment to cease the utilization of coal within a time frame of 10 years. This declaration was formally announced by Xi Jinping in 2021. However, recent developments indicate a contradictory course of action. According to the Center for Research on Energy and Clean Air, Chinese authorities granted approval for the construction of an average two additional coal power plants per week in the previous year. In total, China has authorized the establishment of 106 gigawatts of coal power capacity, equivalent to the output generated by two coal power plants developed on a weekly basis. Is Xi Jinping aiming for China to abandon coal in a similar manner to how parents encourage their children to quit smoking by having them consume an entire pack of cigarettes? This might just be the starting point. China's primary energy engineering group intends to authorize the construction of 270 gigawatts of new power plants by 2025, surpassing the capacity of the entire fleet in the United States, which stands at 231 gigawatts for coal-fired power. Comparatively, China currently utilizes 1,000 gigawatts Allow me to correct myself. 
Jifeng isn't merely pushing them to consume a pack of cigarettes, he's compelling them to consume an entire cigarette factory. The strategy aims to create a strong aversion to coal. In this context, sick translates to 2 million fatalities annually. There are indications that China is considering the replacement of outdated establishments with newer, more effective ones. However, the findings of the study contradict this notion. It reveals that while 4 gigawatts of coal power were retired in 2022, a significantly larger amount of 106 gigawatts was approved for operation. The report also highlights that smaller and less efficient plants are being retained as backups or are being operated normally following retrofitting. This situation raises concern about the exacerbation of pollution from China, leading to potential implications for the residents of Los Angeles. The citizens of LA are startled by this revelation, and it comes as a surprise to them. The use of BotBox may serve as a means to conceal the impact of this issue. What prompted China to modify its coal policy? The government's approach to reducing coal usage comes with a significant condition. In 2021, the State Council of China stated that considering the country's abundant coal resources and limited oil and gas reserves, it advocates for a strategy of expansion before phasing out. The objective is to maintain national energy security and economic growth while gradually transitioning to alternative energy sources and encouraging energy efficiency. Securing the energy needs of the nation and fostering economic growth is of utmost importance. The Chinese Communist Party, CCP, will not prioritize environmental sustainability if it jeopardizes either of these objectives. The concept of building up before breaking down suggests that China will not transition to renewable energy sources until it can adequately meet its peak energy demands. Similar to how bodybuilders focus on gaining muscle mass before a competition, China has been significantly increasing its energy capacity for many years without facing any substantial competition. China experienced a failure to meet peak demand in the previous year. There was an unprecedented heat wave that led to a surge in air conditioner usage, resulting in an increase in energy consumption. Given China's preference for coal, it is surprising that their AC units did not follow suit. Moreover, certain regions faced a drought, causing rivers to dry up and reservoirs to deplete. This had a negative impact on hydropower generation, making it more challenging to meet the growing energy needs. Consequently, energy restrictions became commonplace, with actions such as dimming skyscrapers, closing factories, disrupting subway services, and subjecting homes and offices to intermittent power outages, which also forced people to disconnect their air conditioners. Fortunately, individuals had the option to embrace the wind outdoors. However, it remains unclear whether they were compelled to endure the heat within their homes. The Chinese populace has reached a tipping point after nearly three years, expressing their demand for the resignation of Xi Jinping and the Communist Party of China (CCP). The party discreetly handled the demonstrators, ensuring minimal disruption. Remarkably, Data highlights the critical state of affairs in China, urging a cessation of competitive endeavors. Recognizing that failure to fulfill essential needs would likely lead to societal unrest, the CCP faces significant challenges. The imposition of zero COVID measures severely impacted the economy, jeopardizing the stability of the Chinese Communist Party in the absence of employment opportunities and personal savings. To maintain a reliable power supply, the CCP justifies the installation of additional coal power units as necessary for handling energy demand peaks that exceed the capacity of existing infrastructure. However, it is important to note that coal-fired power plants cannot be immediately activated like automobiles. Consequently, these units may become redundant after a few days of operation, as China adopts a slow-paced approach to construction working at only 30-50% to 50 capacity. This cautious methodology is akin to driving within the confines of a garage, a concept worthy of consideration but lacking in practical application. China has made a pledge to reduce carbon emissions by 2030, but the exact extent of this commitment remains undisclosed. There is a possibility that China might increase coal production before 2030 as a means to reduce emissions and fulfill the climate obligations. Disregarding the discrepancies in its emission, China remains the largest consumer and producer of coal, deviating from its promises and its pursuit of greener energy alternatives. And that's all for today. 
Thank you for watching. Subscribe.